Well, how do that, chums? Design Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys and the viewers, verse, I'm back in No Man's Sky. We've got some frigates to debrief. Let's go and debrief these frigates. Let's go see if we've got any new A classes. Well, S classes. I think both of these are A now. We'll go check in a second when I send out the new missions. But let's see if we get some of those expansion type sacks. You know what? Let's make it a little bit larger on screen so you can actually see what's going on. There we go. Request mine dump. There we are. What we got? Albion Pearl. Convergence Cube. Salvage Frigate Modules. Gravitino Balls. I didn't get no Psychnotic Eggs. Didn't get none of those weird sack things. I'm starting to think that they've been removed from game. It's freaking mentals. We're not seeing them, are we? Well, let's go and have a little chat to this guy. Hello there, mate. I want to send out some more frigates on expeditions. I guess I do. So I'm going to do the combat one for my pirate frigates. So let's, uh, let's go get my pirate frigates. How are they doing now? Okay, we've got one A class and we've got one B class. One of them has actually upgraded to an S already. These two are falling behind by the wayside. Go! Fly, my pretties, fly! And we might as well send out a Voyage of Discovery. And uh, I'm going to send out a load of the organic ones again to see if we get any of these sacks. Because you guys in the view of us are telling me you're not getting them. Not for hell or high water. Okay, so there we go. Let's send those as well then. Chicka boom! Off you go, my little frittes. There we go. They're off. Right. So we've managed to do all of the Gek Lankwaj. I guess we have. So today we're going to be focusing on callbacks. Okay, so let's use the filter in the top corner. Well, I'll say top corner. It's just there, right above my head. We've gone for life form, and now I'm dialing it in for callbacks, which I think are the blue ones. Yes, it is. Now, if I expand this, I'm looking for a dissonance system. I mean, actually, we don't really need dissonance systems now because I don't actually need... Yeah, I don't need dissonance systems, I don't believe. Just Corvax is fine. OK, well, we'll go there then. It's got water. We'll go there. I don't think we need dissonant because I don't need the radiant shards anymore. If you guys still need your radiant shards, find yourself a dissonance system. And it would normally replace the word water with dissonant, just as a heads up. Anyway, I'm going to be heading to the station. I'll see you in the station. We're going to learn some callbacks in the station. OK, chums. Well, you know that I was saying that all this new language could mean that there might be new lore and story coming into game. Well, I was pointed out by The Structure. The Structure is another content creator that does No Man's Sky content. And they actually said, actually, you know when you have been at your settlements and there's a load of missing words that you didn't know before? This is just Hello Games putting those words in. So apparently, all this new lingo that we're learning is just the blank words that we were getting at settlements, people. And it's just that they've taken freaking ages to appear here. So it might be that we don't get any new sort of wordage. The only weird thing with that is, is every single one of the race, Corvax, Viking and Gek, have had a new word added, which is autophage. So maybe they just didn't add in the language because maybe they had the settlements done at the same time as all the autophage stuff and they just didn't, they just delayed it for some freaking reason, just so it doesn't give away the word autophage. I don't know. But yeah, so autophage just seems to be the only concurrent sort of word that goes across all the different races. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But if the if the structure is right on this, it could mean that there's not a big update coming in way of lore and story. But then saying that, Sean Murray has also put out there, people inside the viewerverse, that there's going to be a four-part arc. And we're already on part two of that four-part arc and ARG. So I'm wondering whether... There's a bit of a mixed bag thing going on here. Maybe he is right. Maybe the structure is right and they have plugged a load of language gaps at structures. But then perhaps they're also added in a few extra words that might tie into some of the autophage stuff and might tie into the ARG. So I still think it's well worth learning. And the actual autophage language is definitely well worth learning because it's a whole new language. And let's face it, some of the tidbits that we are getting that might allude to what might be coming in the future is going to be in the autophage dialogue. Did I talk to these two? I did. Yes, there you go. Time flies when you're having fun, people. Let's head on down to the planet. Now, technically, I've added bases on two dissonant worlds, one for Viking and one for Gek. 
I think I still need to go and find a dissonance system at some point and put down a Corvax base there just in case we have to learn more autophage words along with race words then I can do all this again with ease. So this episode I didn't do that, the next episode I will. I forgot that there was rhyme to reason to my madness. Now I'm looking for the ringed planet in this system because it is a lush planet, I guess. And it's uh, fairly small. I guess it's hiding behind this one. It's always the last blinking one, isn't it? Yeah, let's go behind it and let's see if it's the ringed planet over here then. It looks quite nice from the galactic map. It's like a... Oh, well, that doesn't look like it's got rings on it either. Oh, for fudge sake, Steve. Where the fudge is this planet? Oh, you know what? I, I, if I don't spot it in... Oh, there it is, there. I was going to say, I'll just jump to a dissonant one. But this is a flourishing star bulb planet. Now, I'm thinking if I put boots on the ground here, peeps, and it's pretty small, and this is quite a small planet, maybe knowledge stones might be close together. Maybe I might be able to learn all the corvacs on this planet here. Beta bro beta. We'll go land on it. We'll see if knowledge stones are close together. If they're not close together, you know what I might do, people. I might just hit on up a dissonant weld and see if we can find one that's worth putting a Corvax base on. All right, okay, well, let's, let's head on. Oh, there's no real point in me cutting now. It's like three minutes, well, three seconds until I land. It looks like this has got a storm on here. It looks like I'm about to land on a slightly darkened area of landscape. Uh, there is quite a lot of water here as well. So it might be that knowledge stones are a little bit spread out, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. I mean, because the water and there's... Knowledge stones don't appear in the water, so we could be all right, actually. Let's have a look. Let's see how we do for knowledge stones. And oh, well, there's one right there. I can see a knowledge stone. 300 views this way. Let's go to it and let's see if we can spot another knowledge stone from the knowledge stone. We'll see if this is a good planet to learn at least the Corvax lingo on, people. I don't know that. Cool. Well, if it is, I might as well stay here. We'll find a dissonant world next time. Here we go. Have that. Lovely. Let's have a look. Any more knowledge stones? Yes, I can see one just there. I can also see one just there, which I can actually see with my eye peepers. Okay, well, this is a good well to learn the Corvax language on, so I might as well spend 10 minutes just jumping around learning knowledge words. Yeah, okay, there we go. We hit that one up. I can see another one just there. Look, I can see it with my eyes. I've seen things. I've seen them with my eyes. I've seen things. They're often in disguise like... Yeah, I do like that song. Ba -ba -ba -bum. I just saw another one just over yonder hill. It rendered before the rock did, and I saw it through the rock with my X-ray vision. X-ray vision. X-ray, X-ray, X-ray vision. Right, okay. Any more knowledge stones in close proximity to this knowledge stone? Yes, on top of that hill. Hi girls, we're gonna grab that one. But I think you get the ideas, people. I'm just gonna bumble about on this planet for a moment and learn some Corvax words, people inside the viewers. Because why the fudge not? Here we go, let's hit that one. Boom! Any more for any more? Let's have a look, see. Uh, I think I've exhausted the knowledge stones of inside of this region. Okay. All right, well, yeah, there's lots of, yeah, there's islands, so it's a little bit sparse, it's a little bit spread out. You know what, let's go to a dissonant world. Let's go see if we can find a decent dissonant system, people. I'll see you back up at my freighter in the galactic map. Okay, chums, I'm in the galactic map on my freighter, like I mentioned, and here we go, we've found a Corvax dissonant system. Yeah, you can see where it says dissonant, it replaces the word water. So if I just go over to this one for a second, you see that one, it says water on it. Well, it keeps moving. There you go, water. And then this one over here was the dissonant one. We're going there! Because that's what you're looking for to find a dissonant system. Now, people might wonder, why do you use your freighter to warp jump? One, it's got quite a far range because it's fully upgraded. Let me show you my uh, freighter. Yes, I go over to my freighter. Lovely job, you got all this freaking tech in it, mate. Yeah, so my warp drive is pretty darn freaking gnarly. I mean, look at it. It's pretty darn freaking epic, isn't it? Warp range. Yeah, and it can jump into every single system because I've got every single type of engine in there. Lovely jubbly. I've also got all this stuff in there that speeds up my frigate missions and things like that. So if you're wondering why my frigate times are extremely low, that'll be why. You get all that tech from running the derelict freighters, people inside the viewerverse. Now I've got this console here that I just hit up. That's going to scan all the planets in this system. Chikapal, one foul swoop. 
And there we go. We've got a dissonant system detector. There. It's a solarium world. A solarium world. It's got water. It's pretty cool. Doesn't look like it's got storms. We'll head on over to that solarium world. What was his name? Osaka. Hold on, that's the name of the building inside of Cyberpunk, isn't it? The Osaka building. Or something like that. Anyway, we're heading over there. We're heading to Osaka, people. What a cool name. Right, where's my poxy ship? There it is. There's my shippity ship. There goes. Let's fly on down to the planet. I'll see you there, people. Oh, actually, before we do that, I might as well go to the station. Learn and load more Corvacs. I'll do that, and then I'll be down at the planet. You saw me talk to Corvacs a minute ago, so I won't bore you with that again. Right, well, I'm breaking the atmosphere on planet Osaka, and we can already see this is a very hilly planet. I'm probably not the best for um, hunting knowledge stones, but that's kind of not what why we're here for. We're here for learning of the autophage words. So let's um, have a little look for a trading post in nearby vicinity on this planet. Trading post detected. Is it just over yonder hill? Five seconds away. Was I right by it anyway? It looks that way, people. Hold on. That's not what I was looking for. Okay, cool. It's over this way. Heck goes. How far over this way? Quite a way. I'll see you at the trading post, people. Okay, we're coming in for a landing. Heck goes. Just land, land, dang it, land. I'm going to talk to all the Corvacs here before we press on on with our mission of learning autophage. I guess. Just jumping out of the ship to ship. Let's run on down and let's go and see the Corvacs. So what, if, what am I on when it comes to Corvacs count right now? So I'm on 811 words. I'd say, you know, I was just on the shy end of 800 before this episode. So doing okay, I suppose, for Corvacs words. Hello there, chaps. Yes, I'm here to learn some wordage. I guess. Let me a word. Sweet. Up. Oh. All right, cool. I'm surprised that wasn't already in the dictionary, to be fair, considering we're flying up all the blinking time. But there we are. This is what it is. We got until. Fly on up until what? Fly on up until. What word are you going to teach me, my friend? Dum dum dum. If. Okay, well, that makes no bloody sense, does it? Not that it's supposed to. Well, we'll run down here. We'll talk to this guy. Are you the last entity here? And your ears are upside down, my friend. Yes, okay. Got you. Mystery symbol. And fight. There we go. And there's only four Corvax here. All right. Cool. Well, we'll have a look anyway. We'll have a look to see if there are any knowledge stones in close proximity to here. Not seeing many knowledge stones, am I? In fact, I'm seeing zero, zero knowledge stones. But you know what? Last episode, we worked out that if we find ourselves a sentinel crashed ship, that gives us one autophage right from the word go. So let's go and find ourselves a sentinelized crashed ship. Where is the beacon for that? I've got quite a few of them. There's one there, but I've got another stack of nine right there. So we go. And search for a sentinel crashed ship. I'll see you at the ship where we're, we're fixing autophage. Now you're probably thinking, people in the view of us, aren't you? Why the fudge didn't you build a base here? I'm not overly keen on the terrain. It's too uppity downity. You know, it's all over the place. It's all higgledy pickledy, isn't it, people? All higgledy pickledy. I don't really want higgledy pickledy landscapes for when I'm looking for um, shards and language and all that sort of shenanigans. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I, I'm not going to be putting a base on this planet. Hopefully, we'll find a Corvax planet before we've learned all the Corvax. I'm going to take the rest of the metal. Why the fudge not? There we go. Fix the cage. There you go. And yeah, hopefully we'll find a world that's semi-decent. I don't I don't consider this one semi-decent. Is there any autophages around here? There's not, is there? Okay, right. Well, next step. I'm going to do that each system I go to at the moment just to get one extra repaired autophage in the freaking bucket before I even start. This will find me an autophage camp. What's that on the hill over there? That just zoomed out. Ah, it's just a beacon. Just a beacon, nothing more. Okay, Gordio. Uh, where's my ship? There it is. Come on, we're off to an autophage camp. I'll see you at the autophage camp, people. Okay, now someone has told me that the best place to find autophages is actually at crashed freighters. I didn't think to look there, and I haven't so far. I mean, I could get a load of distress signal maps, 
couldn't I? And go and find a load of crash freighters and put that to the test. Maybe I might have to do that. But here we go. Let's um, practice language firstly. Learn an autophage word. Brilliant. You can see there, still got the full repertoire, all four container folders for their language set. Just going to pop on over again. Interact. And this time we're going to offer our help with a mission. Now, usually the second the second one on here, the second one, is usually how many words you're going to learn. And you can see here, I'm going to learn two autophage words. And it's asking me to salvage starship components. I don't even think in creative mode it lets you do that at the moment. You have to actually at least salvage a ship. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to do that one. All right, fine. All right, cool. Let's do this guy. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go around and do as many missions as I can. Other than scrapping ship missions. Request dialect help. There we go. Friendship signal. There you go. Let's go talk to him again. Let's see what mission he's going to offer up this time. Hopefully it's something more interesting. Salvage starship components. Great. Great. We've got just those missions at the moment. When I'm trying to live stream. Anyway, peeps. Let, let, let's just hit up his mission first on this one then. There you go. Craft constant computer. I think I've already got them. There we are. So how many words am I going to learn on this this one? Is it going to be three or two? Going to learn three words. Nice. Excellent. So there you go. You can really push up your numbers doing these missions with these guys. It's just if they offer you the right mission. The only one I can't do is the salvage ship because I went and sold all my salvage ship parts. Alright. Eh? Okay, we got that done. Have I already visited? Yes, I've already visited that one. Okay, well let's go talk to this autophage. I don't think this counts as another fix because this one technically isn't broken. You just feed it some circuits. There you are. Done. Now you can do the mass puzzle on here and it will point you to another ship. Um, but, you know, there's a good chance it's going to point me to the same ship that I just went to. So I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, right. Cool. Well, we've done that autophage camp and we didn't get any missions to actually uh, repair another autophage. So you know what? I might fly to another dissonant system. I might go back up to my freighter, go to another distant system in the Corvax area. One, I'm going to learn some more Corvax in the station, and I can repeat these same steps again. So you know what? I will see you at another dissonant planet in a minute. Okay, this is what I like to see. We've got a dissonant star bulb planet. Heck yes, we have in a Corvax system. Just going to go to the station, learn some more Corvax. Then I'll show you this lovely sort of marble. Heck yes, I will. Looks like it's got green grass, but it's going to be purpley tinted, isn't it? Obviously. Okay, well, we're flying on down to this planet, and I can already see it's slightly nicer in terrain. It's not, it's not too flat, but it's not super duper hilly. It's hilly, but it's not stupidly hilly like the uh, last one. This is kind of better-ish. Okay, there we go. Let's go and find a trading post then. Let's fly on up. So this one is a maybe. Let me just have a look at the trading post. And we'll throw the sun up in the sky as well and have a better look at this one once we get there. Was there any other distant systems in this system? I didn't actually check. See, there's another nice paradise world there. So we've got two paradise worlds in this system. Hopefully that one's going to be better for the knowledge stones, maybe. But we'll see, anyway. This one is more of got it's got more potential to it. Oh, 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 saying that. Look how hilly it is here. Hmm. I think we might have to continue our search, people, before I put down a base. Although this one could have, like, highest mountains and all that sort of stuff, I guess. At least it's not every five seconds there's a mountain. I mean, the real thing is, is there knowledge stones in close proximity? Let's have a look see if there's any knowledge stones. Um, I'm not seeing any, am I? I'm not seeing an abundance of knowledge stones. I am seeing quite a lot of these um, radiant shards, though. So it's good for radiant shards. It's not good for much else, though. Oh, look, there's a, there's a freaking echo camp there. Harmonic scrap. Okay. We'll go check that out in a second. Uh, maybe I could put a base here. Um, I mean, it has got another paradise world in the same system that might be good for knowledge stones. So, yeah, I could do. Nope, I do not want to hire you. I've got, I've got, I've got a uh, scientist. Sorry, mate. Hello. How are you? 
Request dialogue help. Nice. Saying that, he does look like a biker scout from Star Wars, doesn't he? Hmm. Oh, go on then. I'd have you. Because my actual scientist, Stan, he, he, I'm not overly keen on Stan, so there you go. You, you can come. You can come to my base. There you are. He does look like a Star Wars, Star Wars biker scout. Pretty darn sweet, that. Request dialect help. And he's in white. My logo is white, black, and red, isn't it? So there we are. There we go. Okay, well, we've learned a few Corvax words while we're here. I think I might put down a base here because, yeah, we could go check out that other Star Bramble world in a bit to see if it's got uh, knowledge stones on it. But, yeah, I'll put a base here, people. Yeah, I'll put a base here. This is dude. Heck yes. So, yeah, I'll be right back with you after I've made a little mini base. Well, chums, the exotic flew in while I was building my base. So here it is over here. I can't really get to it. Hold on, let's come out of build mode. Let's uh, leg it up and see if I can get there in time before it flies off. Okay. And there it is there. You can sort of see it. Golly, yeah, the pilot is still hanging about. Quite a nice looking ship. So this flies in every now and again, people. Heck yes. Got a pretty cool name. Not a bad looking little ship, this one. Now, if you do want to come here, get that exotic or whatever. You might have a bit of a weight on your hands. But yeah, let me give you the actual code for this. There you go. There's the code for this planet where I put down a base. And yeah, you can see now in daytime, it's actually not a bad looking planet. It's got some pretty nice foliage on this planet. It's not a bad planet if you just want to jump around and get yourself some radiant shards. Um, I have put down my exomech here just to make that task a little bit easier. But yeah, I'll, I'll show you my little base, people. So it's nothing to really write home about. Here it is, it's over here. It's just like a, a shed with a, an exomech in it and also a nomad. And that's pretty much it. And also a teleporter. But at the moment, that's not showing up for whatever reason. Let's just leg it over there so it renders in. I haven't uploaded it yet. But yeah, not a bad planet when it comes to colorization. And yeah, the hills are gradual. It's not a massive incline of hill. Well, I mean, that one freaking is. But yeah, you kind of get the idea. It's hilly and mountainous. But yeah, there we go. I've got myself a, a nice, nice little teleporter. I've got these to stick in there if uh, it's night time and you need to charge up the portal quickly. But that's all I freaking need. Okay, where do I put my base computer, though? There it is, right there. I'll go and upload this base, people. All right, cool. All right, so before I started building my base, I saw a harmonic scrap area. So we're heading over there. And would you look at that? I get to repair another autophage. Don't mind if I do, mate. Here we go. Take that out of there. Lovely jubbly. And repair. Done. Well, that was quite handy. Could do it finding some more of them. I guess that was nice and easy. All right, fine. Well, look at that. I'm going to get an echo seed too. Boom. I can't remember what you do with blinking echo seeds. Uh, anyways, let's uh, go and hit on up one of these again. Boom. We're going to find ourselves another Sentinel ship. We'll go repair that. Lovely jobs. And then I'll go find a proper Echoes camp and see how we get on for missions here. Okay, right. Well, we've landed. Thank you. Boom. Now, oh, let's run on over. That was quite a nice, nice looking Sentinel ship. Thank you. All right, well, let's run around anyway. Now, what I could do, I'm half tempted. I think I might have a free ship slot. If I pick that ship up, I could take it up to the station. And I could scrap it. So if I do get any more of those scrap ship missions, I'd have all the scrap that I can hand in for them. So I might do that. Let's 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 go repair this ship. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I'll take that then. Cool. Yeah, there we are. Compare. Oh no, all we've got is swap ship, so I can't actually take it or anything i've not got any free slots on my ship so i'm no way going to be doing that i'm gonna to have to leave it so it's a shame that we don't have an option to automatically scrap a ship to be honest isn't it um i'm gonna remove that from oh i haven't got it in my log that's okay okay fair enough go on. all right well um let's what the fudge is that thing oh my days i have seen these before but that's quite a cool coloration on that one. Look at his little eyes and eye stalks. Very lovely. All right, okay. Well, let's um, go on over to my multi-tool then. Let's just recharge this. Let's hit up a Neko's camp. 
And we're going to see what missions we can grab. People, I'm still by this little sock puppet, but look, it actually found an Echo's camp at the base of this mountain, so I might as well just do a running jump for it. There we go. This could be fun. And let's just fall. Meow. Okay, I'm going to keep some of my jetpack just to sort of initiate a bit of a boost. There we are. Before we hit the ground and break my legs. Okay, probably not the best idea. Maybe I should have flown here in my ship. Okay. We're just going to touch down there. There we go. Lovely job, Lee. That got a bit risky, didn't it? All right. Okay, got a load of pumpy plants there. Let's just do a melee strafe jump straight over to here. Scan! There we go. We got ourselves some little dudes. Hello there, guy in the chair. How are you? All right. So I guess I'm going to learn the words, and then we're going to take a look at what missions we've got here. Request dialect help. And I'm going to go through all these, learn some words with these guys. It would have probably been useful if I showed you what my word count was with the autophage before we started this. Uh, I'm on 539. Let's see if we can get over the 550 in this episode, then I'd be fairly happy. It'd be nice if we can hit the 30 on the repairing of autophages. We've already done two, so hopefully we get two more missions for autophage repairs. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes they offer you autophage repair. Collect rusted metal. We've got a shed load of rusted metal. I've got that on me right now, my friend. You can have it. Like as you can. Go up. In you go. There's your rusted metal. Nice. Okay, well I'll carry on doing this. Hopefully we get some autophage repair missions. Right, well I've actually picked up two repair autophage missions. It looks like there's a broken autophage right here. Let's go fix that and see what happens. Lovely jubbly. Nice big long sequence of numbers there. Is that going to count? It looks like that counted as repairing an autophage. So it looks like I can hand in these missions. There we go. Oh no, that's the chromatic metal one. Nice one. Okay, well we've still got two missions then for repairing autophages, I believe. Let's go do that. Sweet. Where's the first one to repair? It's over there, by some distance. I'm going to call in my ship and we're going to fly there, people. I'll see you at the autophage. Hook, yes I will. And we're calling some more autophages and see how we get on. Yeah, I couldn't land near to this autophage camp because of how hilly this actually is. This is kind of why I don't like hilly planets that much, because sometimes you can't land where you want to land. Um, so yeah, we're heading over here anyway. It's probably where that smoke is coming from, isn't it? Meow. Okay, maybe not then. This way. Okay. 155 views this way. Oh, fudge sake. I'm going around in blank in circles. Blank in circles, my friend. What was that? Oh, it's, it's a gravitino ball. Easily distracted. There we go. Let's fix this one then. Chicka pow, chicka boom, done. Lovely. Sweet. Scan for more auto pages. There we go. And I'm going to do a few more missions, learn a few more words. I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, chums. Well, this one was on the side of a freaking mountain. And that was a pain in the backside getting to that. Okay, here we go. Let's repair this guy. I did find three knowledge stones, though. So there was a silver lining, I suppose. In sorts. Right on. Let's hit up these guys. Same again. Okay, chums, well, we've hit the 550. We've gone to 571, in fact. And with the autophages, we've managed to fix 30. It's just moved the marker to 35. So I'm probably going to be doing more of this on the next episode. What I might be tempted to do, though, is jump over to that other planet inside of this system and see if knowledge stones are closer together and see if we can get our uh, Corvax up a tad. You know, at least to 850 or something. I don't know, or 830 at least. Okay, well, I'm landing on the neighbouring planet. I must say, it's a beautiful planet. It's a bubble lush, and it's got mild hills. I mean, it's still a little bit hilly. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look at the knowledge stones in a second. Just going to go and talk to these Corvax here. I'll let you know if I complete the language. Okay, chums, this does seem to be a better planet for knowledge stones because we've got two in close proximity right here. So let's uh, let's go and have a quick look at these. 
Yeah, so in the daytime, this is a nice planet. It's uh, very purpley. The only thing what I would say is it's also got Gravitino balls on it. So if I wasn't in creative mode right now, i have probably been set upon by loads of Sentinels. So probably not the best planet in normal mode or any other mode other than perhaps, um, you know, creative mode or relaxed mode, to be honest, people. Right, okay, another knowledge stone just over yonder hill. So you know what? I think I'm probably going to continue my search for distant worlds and Korvax worlds in the next episode anyway. I mean, I can always remove my base if I find something better than what I've found already. So it's not a massive issue, is it, really? Okay, there's another knowledge stone over yonder hill. I go hit this one up, and then I think I might call it a day in No Man's Sky, because I have done quite a lot when it comes to learning of words and talking to the autophage, repairing autophage. We have moved the milestones on a level, so you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, look, we've got two knowledge stones right next to each other. That's kind of a nice thing to end on, isn't it? There we go. There we go. I'm just going to fly back on up to my freighter, see what sort of time I've got left on that expedition that I sent out. But I think we've still got a good hour or so. OK, well, let's see how much time is left on this one. Speak with Commander. And yeah, we've got 51 minutes, so pretty much an hour from now. So you know what? I'll debrief those tomorrow, people. Heck yes, there you go. Yes, hopefully they get to an S class. But there we are. So yeah. In No Man's Sky, I am having quite a fair bit of fun in a roundabout way, learning these autophage words. I know that it's going to play a bigger piece to a puzzle, hopefully once the ARG or the next update drops. I feel that it's kind of worth my time in learning that autophage language, but at the same time, it could be made more interesting. It really could. It's it's, it's quite hard going. Um, and you know, I've, I've done a lot of laborious things in a lot of games, but this is... This is by far one of the most laborious that I've had to do to learn these words. You can see here the next marker is 650 words for the autophage. I'm on 577. In all fairness, we did do quite a large jump this episode, you know. So it is that. The autophage fixing. Got to do another four. But now that I know that I can use the Sentinel ships, at least I know I'm going to get one at least every episode as soon as I jump to a new system. Okay, there you go, people. Salute to Mondo. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.